Hey loves, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm here to give you the word of God. Today is Worship Sunday and one of my nails broke off. I just want to put that out there. One of my nails broke off. I'm so mad right now, but I got to get them redone. But today's Worship Sunday, I'm going to feed you with the word of God. Before I feed you with the word of God, happy Mother's Day to every mother out there. You're wanted, you're loved, you're appreciated. And, you know, we appreciate you, especially my mom that has passed away. I appreciate her so much. I wish she was still here to be living, but she's not here. But I still worship her every day. I, you know, I love her. I miss her so much. And I hope she comes see me real soon. But, yeah. Today we're going to, um, what else I want to say? I don't know. I'm trying to see what y'all comments saying. I didn't know y'all comments up there. I thought I responded. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, so as I was saying, I appreciate all the months out there. Y'all did a lot for us. Y'all gave us life. We, you, your, the mothers are the reason why we're out here today. I'm glad that you were able to have us and, you know, appreciate us and keep us warm and safe and have us have nice homes so that uh, mothers do a lot for their kids just know mothers do a lot for their kids but we're gonna tap into the word and then after we tap into the world i'm gonna give y'all more more talks about the about the mother about mother's day or whatever so yeah it says um depression and focus um there's help if you're depressed um doctors may be able to help talk to your parents about seeing one um to meet with a youth worker pa pastor or christian cancer as well you are loved so i just want to say this um uh, before i before i read the whole word or whatever you are loved every day you are appreciated you are wanted you are gifted you are wonderfully made um, but no one told you today that they love you. I want to give you a big shout out and let you know that you're loved and you're wanting on earth. And I, and I say that you want on earth because a lot of people feel like they are wanting here. They feel like they don't have a purpose here or whatever. But my, my question to you today, why do you feel like you don't have a purpose on earth today? You have a purpose to do so much. God's called you to do a lot. So understand that. Like if you didn't have a purpose today, you wouldn't be awake today. Okay. Remember that. If you didn't have a say with me, if you didn't have a purpose today, you wouldn't be awake today. I like that. If I didn't have a purpose today, I wouldn't be awake today. I like that. I gotta write that down. If I didn't have a purpose today, I wouldn't be awake today. Okay? I like that. If I didn't have a purpose today, I wouldn't be awake today. Real life. Make sure I write that down. If I didn't. Have a purpose today. I wouldn't be awake okay, so now I wanna say, um remember Jesus was overcome with sorrow and tears before he died, so. God was really sad when he passed away. Well, Jesus. Jesus, my bad, Jesus. Jesus was really sad when he passed away because they beat him. Remember, they beat him on the cross. They did him dirty. They did a lot of th things to him that he did not deserve at the end of the day. But that's why he says he understands you when you're crying. You know how y'all be crying in the morning or you cry at night or you cry anytime being like, he understands why you're crying. Even if you, even if other people tend to not understand why you're crying, he understands. Because the pain that he went through was so terrible. I wouldn't wish that on one of my worst enemies. To be beaten like that, that was so harsh to even see. And I hate that they even did that to him. Like, I hate that they even had a video like that. And the reason why I hate that because that beam looked so horrible. Like, he was really fighting for his life. And y'all just literally sat there and beat him. Like, that's not okay. Like... I don't like that. Like, they really have my feelings to know that Jesus got that being like that. And he tried, he tried so hard to, like, fight back and, like, try to, you know, get back up. And it was so hard. But 
He he tried so he tried on the first day to get back up. He didn't get back up. He tried on the second day to get back up. He didn't he didn't he failed to get up. The third day he he wasn't. Like he said, Okay, I'm gonna try again this third time and I'm gonna get up and I, I can guarantee that. He got up on the third day and he was all right. Like, you know, Jesus forever lives on for us. But I really truly feel sorry for Jesus. Like to go through that pain like that, to be beaten constantly like it don't never stop it never ends like they just just imagine somebody keep keep beating on you all day long day like they never stop beating on you that that hurts and i'm pretty sure he was crying because i would have cried too somebody beating on me like that like that stuff hurt like just think about that it just makes me want to cry right now because it's like dang they ain't had to do him like that like i don't like that regardless about what he did they didn't have to do him like that at the end of the day that's just me personally I wouldn't want nobody to do me like that. I wouldn't want y'all to be treated like that. But guys, if I know you, I don't know you. Um, but he understands your pain, and he and he longs. He understands your pain, your pain, and longs to comfort you. So when you're crying, and when your tears, when your tears are falling down, you feel like nobody's there for you. Remember, Jesus understands your pain. Like, he's there for you when you're crying. I tell you this all the time. Jesus is always here for us when we're crying. And I know some days, for me, it don't feel like Jesus is here. But he really is here for us when we're crying, when we're down, when we're depressed, when we're feeling all these things. He's here, he's here for us. So, remember, when you're crying, someone's sitting next to you. What I mean by someone is Jesus sitting next to you. So, he understands, like, why you're crying. Even when you don't understand it, he understands why you're crying. So he like, oh my God, are you okay, daughter? Are you okay, son? He's rubbing you. He's making sure you're okay. He's like, okay, well, let me see what I can do. What 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 are you in need of? What do you need me to do for you today? So he's really being nurturing to you. Like us cancers, we're very, very nurturing. So when somebody is nurturing to you, that means they care for you deeply. So he's trying to figure out what to do for you. So he's, he's figuring out what to do for you or whatever. And he's coming up. Like, just trying to figure out or whatever. He figures out the solution for you. He fixed the problem. And there you go. You're not crying no more because he cares for you deeply. So, remember this video. Like, when you're crying. Come back to this video anytime when you're crying and you feel like no one's there for you. He's sitting right next to you. Like, I know you can't see him physically, but he's sitting there next to you. And he wants you to understand that I'm here for you and that, you know, I care for you. And, again, I'm not doing this for views or clout. None of that. I really don't care for likes or views and none of that. But at the end of the day, it's like Jesus is really here for us when we're crying. Like, I be crying, like, every day because I'm a big baby. So, I really be crying, like, every day. And God be there for me. Like, he really do. Us cancers, like I said, we are very, very emotional. So, our emotions, like, be all over, be all over everywhere. And we just be crying. Like, sometimes I can't understand. I, sometimes I can't explain why I be crying. But I just be crying because my feelings be hurt. But at the end of the day, he understands. That's why he be there for us. And that's why he be hugging us at the end of the day. He like, I understand your pain. I understand what you feel right now because I feel the same. I feel the same pain that you feel uh, how many years ago. It was a long time ago when he felt your pain. But at the end of the day, he still understands how you feel. He understands your pain. So this video is confirmation to you, let you know that someone went through the same thing that you're going through today. And you're going to get better because it's going to make you better. So don't lose hope. Don't, you know, stop praying. Don't stop believing. Because at the end of the day, he hears you. So please just try to enjoy today and try to be happy. Today is Mother's Day. Go hug your mom. She misses you so much. And I miss you too. And I want you to be happy. Even though I don't know you, I still miss you. And I still care for you at the end of the day. I want you to be happy today. Understand, depression does not live with you. Please, you are wanted here on earth so badly. Like, if you wasn't meant to on earth, Jesus would not have died for you. But clearly, you're meant, you're meant to be here on earth. So, live your life to the fullest and try to be happy. Like, really, we try to be happy. Um, I love you. You're wanted here. And I just want you to have a good life. So, have a good life today. And if you guys enjoyed this video, give the video a big thumbs up. Um, Let me know if you guys want to part two to this. I'll see you guys in my next video. Probably tonight. <laughs> I'll probably see y'all tonight. But I'll see you guys in my next video. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Bye, loves.